So this is the Synology DS218 Play and this is a cheaper uh, Synology drive, this is around $300 and uh, the DS920 is uh, a little less than $700 just for the enclosure and you have to buy the disc separately of course but this DS218 Play is also a two bay network attached attach storage so um, and I will use this one as a, as a backup to the the DS920 plus so this this one will be placed at a different location and uh, I will back all the files that I have on this over to this but this will only keep one uh, one version or one copy of the files so um, I'm not sure how to set this up yet but uh, I, I plan to copy everything over once a day to these disks over uh, over internet so it should be an automatic system where I save all my files on the big NAS and the big NAS has two copies of, the, of uh, everything and then I have a third copy of all of my files on this one in a different location because that's how a real backup system should be built. You should have two copies in, in your home location and you should have a separate uh, copy backup or whatever. It could be, a, could be a, a, for instance, a, a USB disk, but that's something you have to think about and you have to copy every file over. And I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to set up a system that works uh, automatically and that will protect you from, in, for instance, uh, thunderstorm, uh, some kind of a, uh, power sword search or something. Even um, like if somebody comes in and steal your files, steal all the the whole NAS, you will of course lose your files. But if you have a remote backup, and you can have, and this backup can also be be encrypted. I plan also to encrypt the files on this this uh, big NAS so that um, all my data is secured even if uh, somebody steals my data so you can uh, copy the encrypted data from this big NAS to the small NAS and the connection can also be encrypted so uh, nobody should be able to yeah like get your files when you copy them over nobody should be able to get the files if they steal this hard drive either so now we will put in an 8 terabyte disk into this uh, DS218 play. And this this is not the same as this one. You you cannot open this and only um, pull out something. This is the cheaper version of the Synology. So for this one you actually have to pull it apart. And um Yeah, you have to do like this and you see that the first hard drive bay is up here and the second one is down there. So we want to put a hard drive up here. So we take the third 8 terabyte drive that I bought. And I bought identical drives. That is recommended. At least it's recommended to have uh, have similar size on the drives, but um, with Synology they have some kind of uh, RAID configuration where you actually don't need to have the same size of the discs. But I mean these discs get it has a pretty good value right now, so these discs in Norway are around two hundred and ninety dollars now per disc. So I'll, I'll have some links below in this video where you can find these. I'm, I'm sure you can find these discs uh, cheaper than other places in Norway because yes, yeah, you probably know Norway is not the cheapest country in the world. But that's where I live. So, so what we have to do, we have to slide it in here. This is a little bit trickier than the other one. We don't want to mess things up. And here you ac we actually have to screw this one in 
there is there are no clips or anything so um, we have to use these four screws here to screw them in and the, there are some rubber seals things here that should prevent vibrations the screw won't go all the way in so the, there is a bit of flex here just screw this one in but I mean for me it doesn't matter that this is difficult because th this this system will probably be maybe I won't change anything for five years so maybe I'll put in a second disc here after five years uh, there is room for another disc and then this I can double the capacity of this one to 16 terabytes that should probably be enough then we have to relocate this one this and, and we have two screws here as well so this NAS is a bit annoying but it's uh, for me it's okay this is not my primary NAS this is just a backup NAS I probably would have bought uh, maybe uh, if I wanted a two bay NAS from Synology I would probably have bought the DS720 it, uh, yeah that one looks like this one, except it only has two bay, two bays, yeah. So, um, but now we have the disc inside this one as well. So, um, so um, we are ready to to set it up.